what Netflix movies to watch right now, the 10 best that I think you should watch for this holiday season, you know? So this is gonna be part one. I have different parts coming up, different genres and stuff like that. And uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Well, before I do that, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe. At the end, you can leave your comments and if I leave any films out that you may wanna tell me about that I should watch, go ahead and tell me, all right? Apart from that, um, I'm a film director. Some of you may know that, some of you may not. I'm an up and coming film director. I uh, plan on being a Hollywood director, an international director, global, you know, Spielberg level and so on. And in order to do that, a film director has to be an avid movie watcher. So I'm an avid movie watcher. You're an avid movie watcher. You're watching me. Jumping right into it. Coming in at number 10, The Babadook. The Babadook is a horror film uh, about a boy named Sam. Sam mysteriously finds a book in his room. And that book contains like these evil de demonic powers and possess him and his mom and so on. I don't want to ruin the rest for you, but it's very, very scary. And Sam also lives in the scariest house that I've ever seen. The scariest house known to men. So go check that out and tell me what you think. It's a horror film. Yeah. Directed by Jennifer Kent. Very scary film. Very good film. And uh, if you don't want to sleep for the next five days, you should definitely watch it. So go check that out. Bye-bye. Coming at number nine, uh, The Barber. In this movie, a man wants to avenge his father's death, so he befriends a serial killer. He befriends a serial killer, so he, the serial killer teaches him how to kill so he can avenge his father's death. Very good film. A big turn the movie takes at the end. You should definitely watch it. Uh, I like crime thrillers, so you're gonna see a lot of those throughout this list. <laughs> there can be no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Coming at number eight, Ocho. Why am I speaking Spanish? Don't ask me. But number eight is The Iceman. This movie is based on a real story. It depicts the life of a complete nutcase named Richard Kuklinski. Kuklinski, Kuklinski, whatever. Anyway, this guy killed more than 100 people. Remember, this is a real story, guys. This guy killed more than 100 people for the mob and for his own pleasure from 1964 to 19. 86. Now ask yourself, how did someone get away from killing people from 1964 all the way to 1986? In the movie, they show you how he got away with it. Very intelligent way. I'm not saying the guy's intelligent, he's a bad guy, but I mean, it's kind of ingenious. But anyway, check that movie out. That movie didn't let me leave my house for the next five days because, yeah, I don't want to tell you why, but you'll see why. And there's a really specific reason why they call this guy the Iceman, you'll see. I'm giving too much away, yeah? What are you doing? You praying? You think God's gonna save you? You tell him to come down and stop me. I guess God's busy. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, next, we're going to number seven. Number seven, better must come. Coming all the way from the J. What is the J, you guys ask me? You guys wanna guess? The J is Jamaica, coming away from Jamaica. Now this movie is about a gang leader that works for politicians in order to kill their foes. So, kind of confused? Let me break it down. Democrats hire this guy in order to kill Republicans, but in Jamaican politics. Not Democrats, not Republicans. Their politics. That's an example, right? Okay, so Bill Clinton didn't hire him in order to kill Republicans. It's not like that. They're in Jamaica. Anyway, go check that out. That movie's really good. You'll like it. I liked it a lot. And uh, yeah, international drama. That was a big one. Coming in at number six, Supremacy. You guys gotta check that one out. That's a crime drama. This movie's based on a real story as well. Number what? Number eight was based on a real story, which is Iceman, so this one is too. Supremacy is based on a real story where a white supremacist, just released from prison, kills a cop, then takes an African-American family hostage. This is hands down the top five, would be in the top five favorite films for me, uh, for Netflix. This would be definitely in the top five. Uh, at the end, it's I was in awe, man. My jaw was dropped. I was shocked. Incredible movie. Danny Glover's in it. You guys remember him from Lethal Weapon. It's an incredible movie. You guys got to check it out. Um, definitely, 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 definitely incredible movie. So top five for me would be, this one would be in the top five. All right? Hostages here. You ain't got this. This is my house. This is my choice. 
Are you going to kill us? I don't know about that. The Retrieval, number five. Now this is a movie that takes place a year before slavery ended. Anyone know what year that is? All right, it's 1864, guys. Slavery ended in 1865. Anyway, so an uh, African-American boy is forced by a brutal hunter to apprehend his fellow slaves. So basically, this boy goes along tricking free African-Americans, not slaves, so they're captured and turned into slaves. Horrible, of course, but great story. Uh, you become very emotional at the end. You know, you attach to the characters quick. Great job by the director. Incredible film. It really draws you and it captivated me and I hope it captivates you as well. He best be waiting for me. Get the boy! You're coming. Number four, Beast of No Nation. Now this is a drama. This would be my number one favorite movie. Now this movie is about a young boy named Agu who loses his family to a civil war in where? My country, baby. Now this takes place in uh, West Africa, Ghana, my country of course. A young boy named Agu loses his family in a civil war and he joins a mercenary team unit in order to survive. How does he survive? And what happens at the end? Check that out. This movie is rated like Five stars on Netflix. And trust me, you Netflix critics and people that watch it, you guys are hard critics, man. Some of the best movies you gave like half a star to or one star. So before any I go any further, I don't know if I said this or I'm being redundant, but disregard the stars you see when you click on these movies. Some stars, some films have like one star, but some of the, they'll be some of the best films you've ever seen, right? So definitely check that movie out. It's called Beast of No Nation, starring one of my favorite actors, Idris Elba. So check that movie out, all right, guys? We are my family. Are you ready to fight? We're only taking the brave. Yes, sir! Victory! Yes, sir! Victory! Yes, sir! Seizes! Yes, sir! Coming in at number three, Tootsie. Yes, like Tootsie Roll, the candy. This is an international drama. In this film, a hoodlum, a stupid guy, a foolish kid, a stupid man. Am I doing too much? The reason why I'm saying this, guys, this guy does something really stupid in the film. All right? Really, really dumb in the film. I don't want to give it away. But I'll go ahead and give it away. So this guy shoots a woman, steals her car. Inside the car is a baby. Is the woman's baby. So the woman he shot, her baby's in the car, and this guy hijacks the car. Now he has to figure out what to do with the baby. Does he throw the baby away? Does he keep the baby? Figure out. Tell me what you think at the end. Oh yeah, by the way, heads up, this movie's in subtitles, so those that you that don't like reading, don't watch this film. The past he had forgotten will give him hope for a future he could never have imagined. So I'm going to number two, Juice. Starring my favorite rapper, Tupac Shakur and Omar Epps. He's not the rapper, Tupac is. So starring Omar Epps and Tupac Shakur, this movie is about four teens that grow up in Harlem, that uh, face adversity, and have to figure out a way to get money, power, and respect. And how can they do that when they're growing up in an impoverished area and the system is working against them and not with them? It highlights the drama and the dilemma that the young teens go through today in low socioeconomic classes. So check that movie out, shot by the brilliant and intelligent Ernest Dickerson. If I said that right, I'm sorry if I didn't, but I love you, brother. He is an incredible DP. He's the, actually the director of photography for Spike Lee. He did a few films with Spike Lee. A, not a few, he did a lot of films with Spike Lee. So check that movie out, it's one of my favorite. Juice, a lot of you guys know that. Shelter, I'm the one y'all need to be worried about. Hey, hey, yo, man. If you didn't do nothing, then you got nothing to worry about. 
you know who killed him. If you want respect, you gotta earn it. You gotta be ready to go down, stand up, and die for that stuff if you want to. And we're gonna do number one now. One. Uno. Number one. Number one is what? You guess what TV show or movie it is. It's not a movie. It's a TV show. It's a series. It's called Breaking Bad. And if you guys have not seen this, you're an idiot. Just like the guy in Tootsie, like I said, idiot, stupid, fool. You guys are crazy if you did not see this. You're a nutcase. This TV series is actually what inspired me to continue directing or take it more seriously. Now, this is about a high school teacher. He's a chemist. And he, um, should I give it away? Yeah. He gets diagnosed with cancer and he's dying. Now he has to figure out a way to get money to secure his family's future. How does he do it? He links up with a kid named Jesse Pinkman. That's all I'm gonna tell you. We've got work to do. You okay? Yeah, right as rain. Thanks guys for watching and uh, yeah, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. And if I left out any films that you guys think I should watch, let me know and I'll come out with a part two. Definitely. We're going to do different genres for all horror films that you should watch best on Netflix, scary movies, romance, comedy. We're going to keep it going. Make sure you check out my vlogs. Make sure you subscribe, which is the most important. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right. Yow out.